What's good with the YouTube? It's your boy Dude Different. I'm back at it again with another VC glitch, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy JR for giving me this VC glitch, man. I'm gonna leave it link in the description. We gonna turn up, man. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy JR. Y'all boys know I'm back with another banger. And in this video, I have a brand new NBA 2K21 VC glitch. With this VC glitch, you guys can take advantage on of it whether you're on current or next gen. If you're on next gen and you guys bought the Kobe edition, then that means you have both games. So you guys can download current gen on your next gen console and do this glitch because your VC will transfer over between current gen and next gen using the VC wallet. So yeah, man, anybody can take advantage of this glitch. If you guys wanna rack up your VC like me, get 100K, 200K plus, make sure you guys watch the whole entire video and just spam this over and over over again make sure y'all boys drop a like let's see when this video 100 likes drop us up turn on post notifications because i'll be posting these bangers as soon as i can thank y'all boys so much for all support man it really means a lot i'm gonna go ahead and get right video all right so look step number one with this glitch is all you guys want to do is just go ahead and make a brand new player now with this player what you guys can do i would recommend you make the player a shooting guard or small forward just so they don't inbound you the ball the hand doesn't matter jersey number doesn't matter and then the archetype doesn't really matter either in my opinion you guys probably just want to make the worst player possible just so that might give you a chance to where you won't play as much in the game if that makes sense but with this glitch i'm gonna show you guys how you can get double vc as many times as you would like so yeah man with this player i'm just gonna make this player extremely bad and then i want to make him as short as possible lowest wingspan all that and um yeah man that's just gonna make the glitch a whole lot better just make sure the position make sure you make him a shooting guard or so just so um you guys don't have to worry about you know throwing the ball in or getting the ball after each inbound so yeah man um the height go as short as possible and then the weight as low as possible as well and then the wingspan as low as possible and then the takeover doesn't really matter now uh, go ahead and complete your build and then um go ahead and hit start my career Now from here, make sure you guys go ahead and go directly into the NBA. Now once you guys get here, just make sure that you guys choose a team that has a Mob Player Nation game available, and I'll show you guys what I mean in one moment. Now once you guys get here, go over to Mob Player Nation, and then you guys will see that you will have a game available and whenever you take this tab right here this will show you all the games that are available for that day now in this game you're able to get double vc double mob points and double badge progression as well so yeah man once you've done that all you guys want all you guys want to do is go ahead and play this game So yeah man, step number one to this glitch, once you finally get in the game, you guys wanna make sure that you get five fouls. Um, if you got, make sure you only get five fouls because if you foul out, you won't get any VC. And whenever you get your five fouls, that'll just help you, you know, get subbed out a whole lot quicker, which will then also make the game go by a whole lot faster as well. All right, so once you guys get your fifth foul, make sure you guys do not foul out, or like I said, you won't get your VC. Now from here, you can literally go AFK, and all you guys wanna do is just let the game go ahead and run out. And you can literally spam this over and over again. And keep in mind, like I said, these mob player nation games are double VC, double bash progression, and double mob points as well. So for this glitch, like I said, you can literally spam it over and over again. And if you guys do this consistently, you're really gonna be able to rack up your VC. Get 
All right, so look, once the game is over with, like I said, you guys can go completely AFK after you guys get your five fouls, and then you'll get subbed out quite a bit as well. But yeah, man, you're able to spend this over and over again, but like I said, you're gonna double everything. So each time that you guys do this glitch, you're gonna get a thousand VC, super easy and super simple. Now, generally, you're only able to play one My Player Nation game per day, but with this glitch, I'm gonna show you guys how you can spend it as many times as you would like. All right, so look, after you guys get your VC, go ahead and delete the player that you just done the glitch on. And then you guys can once again, just go ahead and hit start my career, choose the player that we've already created. Now, once you guys do this, it's gonna ask you, would you like to go directly, directly into the NBA? You guys wanna make sure that you guys hit yes. So yeah man, um, just make sure you guys choose a team that has a My Player Nation game for that day. And you guys can look at that just by that tab that I've already showed you guys. So like I said, I already know that the Raptors have one available. So you guys can go ahead and choose them once again. Now go back over to your My Player Nation tab and you guys will see that you're able to play this game once again. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this game up. So yeah, man, in this game, all you guys wanna do is right off rip, get your five fouls as fast as possible, just so you guys will get subbed out more and then that'll make this game go by a whole lot faster. And then also make sure you guys don't accidentally foul out because if you do, you just won't get any VC. But yeah, man, if you guys get your five fouls, you can literally go AFK, like you don't even have to be at your you know, Xbox. So during that time, you guys can do homework, watch a movie whatever the case may be and during all of that your vc will be stacking up each time that you guys do this you will get a thousand vc and you can spam it over and over again So yeah man, like I said, you guys can just spam this over and over again. Just make sure you guys uh, pick a team that has a mob player nation, create a new player, get your five fouls, and then you guys can literally go AFK and do whatever you guys need to do. But you guys will see, you'll get double VC, so I'm able to get 1000 VC once again for doing absolutely nothing. Super easy and super simple. So yeah man, if you guys wanna get your VC up, 100K, 200K, all you guys gotta do is just keep spamming this glitch that I show you guys over and over again. And like I said, if you're on next gen, it's all good. As long as you guys bought the Kobe edition, then you guys should also have the uh, current NBA 2K21 as well. So if you're able to download it on your next gen console, you guys can also do this glitch. And like I said, your VC does carry over between the two consoles. So you're able you know, to do any glitch on current gen or next gen and your VC will transfer in between the two consoles. So yeah, man, make sure y'all boys take advantage of these glitches before they do get patched or before uh, the NBA season is actually over with because this is super fire. You're getting double VC every single time that you guys do this and you're able to spam it over and over again. Just make a new player. Make sure you guys pick a team that has a My Player Nation game available. Go into that game, get five fouls, and then that'll allow you to get through the game a whole lot faster because you'll start to get subbed out more as well. And you guys also wanna make sure that you guys uh, make a really bad player. So yeah, man. Thank y'all boys so much for all support, man. It really means a lot. Drop like, drop a sub. I'm out. Peace.